Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. I am so glad you guys all stopped by today. I really hope you enjoy today's video but first of all if you're new here welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sleepy Oliver and if you're returning thank you so very much. So with all that being said let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So I'm gonna take one of these flower pinwheels from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna remove each one of those little petals from it and they are just um, poked in there so you just kinda have to play with them. Some of them came out easier than others uh, but just play with it a little bit and they come right out. After I had them out, now this was a, I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do or how I was gonna do this. Um, so it took me a little bit to figure it out, but I decided to just paint the middle of each one of the, these, and I did the front and the back. Um, and then I took my daisy burlap that I got from Dollar Tree. I just love this. I think it's so cute. And I'm going to trace it out, but I'm tracing out enough uh, so that I can glue it um, around the back side of it. And then I'm just going to cut that all out. And I'm going to do this for each one. Um, but I'm not going to show you, of course. <laughs> oh, I originally thought, okay, I'm just going to take this stuff off of the wires and just do the wire. But, um, yeah, that didn't work so well. So <laughs> I settled for this, but I like the way this worked out. So I'm going to, um, hot glue the burlap all around the, um, petal so make sure you use a finger protector because of course that burlap is um, translucent I guess you could say I don't know it's got holes and so you can burn yourself pretty easily and then I took this wood round I think this is like a six inch I, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby a while ago in a package of them um, I painted it with the uh, folk art it's called port summer porch I got that from Kathy Jo she sent that to me once it was dry I'm taking my tight bond multi-purpose or quick and thick multi-purpose glue and hot glue and I'm going to glue this round right on top of those petals just like you see and then I got up this morning early this morning you guys because I had no idea where I was going to go with this and I decided to take a 14 inch wood round from Hobby Lobby a wood round from Dollar Tree the Hobby Lobby one I painted with that uh, summer porch I painted the smaller one with uh, home decor uh, Nantucket by um, Folk Art and then some cursive letters I got from Amazon I painted them with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white so here I had laid this out I checked to make sure the letters fit and I traced it so that I would place it right in this correct spot I'm using my wood glue and hot glue here and then I lay my sign down and watch it moves upward watch See, I pushed it up and then I'm trying to bring it down and it was already sticking and I'm like, oh, oh, so <laughs> the letters all fit. I'm using my tight bond quick and thick multi-purpose glue to add these letters. These are letters, uh, one inch letters from Hobby Lobby. That Y was a little long. I think I need to go and kind of cut it down a little bit because it was kind of going off the edge. But I went and I, uh, it says happy as a daisy. I put the happy as on top and a daisy on the bottom then I decided to take some of this daisy ribbon I got this last year from Amazon I do believe it's in my Amazon store and I'm just using my um, Aileen's tacky glue to attach it to the front of my wood round and uh, I just love this ribbon it is so cute but anyways once I have this done I am going to um, make some holes on that big wood round with my big mouth crocodile if you don't have one of these I suggest getting one because they are amazing they have this one and they have a smaller one either one would work um, I'm going to use my tight bond quick and thick multi-purpose glue again around the back side of my um, daisy here and then I'm going to add my hot glue and then I'm going to add this right in the middle of my wood round this just this um this took a while because I like I said I had no idea what I was going to do I knew I wanted to make a daisy with those petals and it just kind of kept coming and I just kept building on it I guess you could say then I decided to go ahead and put some of this ribbon around the sides of my sign now I kind of wish I would have just cut pieces of the ribbon of the like the daisies of the ribbon and just put like a few here and there 
um because i feel like it might be a little busy and kind of takes away from the the words um you have to let me know what you think but i still think it's cute i took some beads here um that i got last year from amazon and i'm just gonna make a hanger i'm bringing it through and then i'll tie knots in the back and that's all there is for this one but um yeah let me know if you think it's too busy if i should have just cut the the daisy ribbon down into little daisies here and there um but i still think it looks cute and uh there it is and then i kind of feel like something needs to be in the middle of that daisy let me know in the comment box below what you think i'd love to hear your opinion on it as well and i do have a good self-esteem i'm not doubting myself or being negative we all have thoughts about our DIYs and these are just my thoughts. <laughs> okay, I want to take this moment to thank all my subscribers. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you so much. And if you're new here and you enjoy today's video and you like home decor on a budget, I invite you to hit that red subscribe button, become part of our YouTube family. And then if you guys would please give me that thumbs up, comment, watch those ads. That really does help my channel and I appreciate it so much. And then if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my accounts in the description box below. Okay, and here's DIY number two. Um, I'm going to start off by taking these wood blocks from Dollar Tree and painting them white. Again, I did not know what I was going to do with this, you guys. I think I have crafter's block because I was struggling to figure out what I wanted to do for this. So as you can see, I took my wood glue there and I'm taking my hot glue and I'm gluing those two together. I am going to cut the the sides off of this beautiful napkin I got a couple years ago from decoupagenapkin.com. I kept forgetting to use it and I'm like, I'm using it this year because I love this napkin. I'm just going to cut it down so that it fits across my uh, board and then I'm going to, or sign, <laughs> cover it with Mod Podge and I set it aside and let that dry. And then uh, while it was drying, I or after it was dried, I took some double-sided tape and put on my fingers because I couldn't get the the plies apart but I did that so that I could get the two plies off of the napkins and then I'm just going to lay those in place and cover it with my parchment paper and then go over it with my heat press this just reactivates that Mod Podge so the napkin will stick now if you have an issue if you do this and you have an issue with your parchment paper sticking what I do sometimes I have that happen um, I think it's because the Mod Podge isn't quite dry I just kind of shimmy that um, parchment paper loose and do it very gently <laughs> I am going over that napkin again with Mod Podge to give it that protective coat and then I let it dry now I bought these letters from Amazon they're wood uh, cursive letters and they are I believe two inches and I am just going to go over them with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Then I went ahead and sanded off the excess napkin off of my sign. And then I laid my letters down and where I want them. And I'm using my tight bond quick and thick <laughs> multi-purpose glue. And I'm going to glue my letters all the way down. Now, you'll see a little later on, I do end up painting these yellow because I just felt like the white blended in too much with the white on the signs here and it was hard to read um and so i decided it, it needed to be yellow but after i had these all glued on i decided i was going to take that yellow paint and do um some polka dots because i thought maybe that would help bring it out no that wasn't in fact i felt like it was too busy having the polka dots with all of that uh daisies on the background so that's what why I decided to just go ahead very carefully and paint all of those letters with that yellow. You can, if you look close, kind of see the bumps, but I was okay with that because it just gives it a little extra texture, right? So after, before I painted it, I took some of this twine because I thought maybe this would help tone everything down a little bit. And I'm just going to glue it all the way around my sign. I think it really helped. I really liked the way it looked, but I, again, I still felt like the home sweet home was kind of hard to read in the white. So um, that's all of this kind of just played into my decision to, to change it out and paint them yellow. And I think it looks much better. So I'm going to make a double loop finger bow here. I'm taking that twine. This is the first time I've used this twine to make a finger bow. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to be because it's a lot thicker. 
but it worked out good. So I wrapped my fingers, like you said, I cut a long tail, almost not long enough. <laughs> come and wrap around between my fingers, come through that wrap and pull really tightly. And then once I have it nice and tight, I take my fingers out and hot glue. I glued one on the top and the bottom because I just felt like those spaces needed something. And that's all there was for that. I think it came out pretty cute. I love that napkin. Um, yeah, you have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box as well. Okay, so it is a time for a celebration of your recreation. And Debbie made, recreated my um, carrot sign and hers is much better. I love it, Debbie, thank you. And then beautiful Amy, I love these pizza pan signs. Ah, oh, they're just wonderful. And Peg, these are gorgeous. I love them so much. Thank you all ladies. And if you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there, or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Okay, here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm gonna take some Chanel stems that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm taking my little br paint brush here, sponge brush, and I'm just going to twist the white Chanel stem all the way around it like you see. I'm gonna pull it off. I'm gonna grab a green Chanel stem, also from Hobby Lobby. All my Chanel stems came from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna poke it through, and then I'm going to twist those and then after that, I'm gonna take each one of those loops and I'm gonna separate them. And then I'm going to, as I separate them, I'm gonna uh, pinch them close. And now I got this idea from uh, something I saw on Pinterest. I'll try and link that in my description box um, if you wanna see it. But um, I just thought this was a cool way to make some daisies. And so I thought I'd give it a try. So once I had those all pinched, I am just going to twist those petals to where they're laying down flat instead of side up and down I guess is what <laughs> I don't know I hope that makes sense to you but after that I took um this yellow one and actually it was like I had cut one in half and then cut it in half again and I'm going to just make it round just like you see and then I'm going to hot glue it to the front of my daisy and there it goes look how cute that is after that I cut off some of my uh, green stem there and I'm gonna make some leaves so I just turned them into leaves by turning it over like that kind of twisting it a little bit and I'm gonna twist this around the stem a couple of times and then I'm gonna make another leaf and twist the end around it and then there we go we've got a leaf and I just kind of pinch them closed and we got cute little leaves on our cute little daisies. Aren't those cute? I think I made like seven or eight of those. I don't remember how many. And then I painted this truck from Dollar Tree with my home folk arc home decor Nantucket blue paint. I love this paint. It's beautiful. It's chalk paint. Then I took the last of my maze by Waverly and I'm just making some polka dots here with my embossing tool. I kind of wish I would have used the back of a um, paintbrush. I actually think you get a better coverage when you do it that way. Um, I don't know why I'm always going for that, that uh, embossing tool. But after that, after the paint was dry, I took it and I made five little right, white dots around the yellow dot to make it look like a flower. And then I added some on the top of the truck too. Then I took this sign from Dollar Tree and I painted the inside of it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and then the frame of it with that Nantucket blue. Once it was dry, I took these tumbling tower blocks. I'm gluing them to the back of my truck. I don't know why I didn't use wood glue, but on the top part, I'm gonna use wood glue and hot glue and I should have done this to the bottom part. Um, and I'm just going to glue this to the front of my sign and it does go over the the um, frame a little bit, but that's okay. It just kind of gives it that 3D effect. Then I'm just going to add some hot glue to the black back of my daisies. Some of them I cut down a little shorter. And I'm just going to layer them inside of my, um, between the truck and the sign. And as you can see, I also painted the wheels of the truck black and then the back part of this the truck with my white and then I'm just going to glue all of those daisies in there. I use my little spatula to kind of get in between the slats to make sure it's all tacked down. I took some of this ribbon. I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby a while ago 
Um, I'm making the bow by doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle, taking some jute twine and tying it around the middle. I was struggling this day. I'll tell you guys, I was really struggling. I was going to do the thrift flip road trip, but I, you guys, like I said, I think I have <laughs> a crafter's block, like writing writer's block, but crafter's block, because I just could not get stuff together. I have plenty of thrifted stuff I could have made stuff with, but I just was struggling with coming up with any ideas or just feeling it. And I struggled with this one too. In fact, I thought I might be getting this out tomorrow night instead of today, because I didn't know if I could get it all done in time. Um, but I got up early this morning to finish it and I'll have it done before six o'clock tonight when it goes live. But there it is. I love it. I think it is adorable. Yeah. And I love those flowers. It's so much fun. Uh, if you have Pinterest, check them out. There's all kinds of flowers you can make with uh, Chanel stems. I just thought it was a lot of fun. Okay. Here's DIY number four. So this is a little cart that I bought from a thrift store a couple of years ago and it's been in my stash. Look, it was $1.98 and it was originally from Hobby Lobby. So I painted it with that folk art Nantucket blue and look at, look at just a paint job. Look at what it does to something like that. It just makes it so much better. Um, so after it was dry, I'm taking my Mod Podge here and I just loved the edge of that napkin so much. So I'm going to, um, very carefully put my napkin on that wet knot mod podge just like you see and I'm just tapping it down very very gently you want to be careful you don't have glue on your fingers when you do that because then you'll just rip the napkin um, but I'm trying to be really careful I had a baby wipe next to me I would just wipe off my fingers um, but I'm just going to go around uh, the sides and the front I don't go where the handle is I just do the three sides to it. Um, and I'm just putting the Mod Podge, laying the napkin down, tapping really gently. And then after I, ha I had to cut another piece because that one strip wasn't long enough. And <laughs> once I have that second piece on there, then I will just go over it again with some more Mod Podge and very, very gently uh, go over it with my paintbrush. And you do want to be very gentle gentle because you can rip the t napkin honestly um but after that I just let it dry and actually while it was drying an insert came with it this plastic insert and it had I put some floral foam in it and then I just took some daisies from Dollar Tree that I had and I'm just going to just fill it up with daisies I've got some kind of an orangey yellow some white some blue and I thought that would be perfect to kind of match with everything we've done today, today and yesterday. <laughs> so I am um, just cutting them down and filling it up. I am using my heat gun here on some of them because that just helps those petals that are wonky. It just kind of helps bring them back into shape. And so I just did that a little bit. Thanks for the tip for those of you who have told me that in the past. <laughs> and then that's all I did with this. It's super easy. Oh, no, it's not. I forgot. I glued some of these daisies to the middle of that. I just thought it really added to it and just gave it a l another little bit of interest. And then that's all I did. I love this. Now, see, I could have done this for the thrift flip road trip, but yeah, I don't know what was wrong with me. Like I said, I just think I... I don't know. I'm on a slump, so pray for me because uh, I don't like feeling this way. <laughs> so there it is. You'll have to let me know what you think about this and which one was your favorite one today. I Oh, wait, I'm not done. I have another special one. So this is DIY number five. Now, this came from one of my subscribers, Keely Pierce. And she has this, um, these little kits that she makes and she sent me some. And so I thought, you know what? These look like daisies. I'm going to do, I'm going to try this out and show you guys. So it comes with 
paint, it comes with glue, it comes with a little paintbrush, and it comes with all these little pieces that you can create a little DIY with. Now I am going to go ahead and use my Nantucket blue for this sign because I wanted it to match the stuff that I made, but I'll use her paint for the rest of the stuff. So once I had this sign all painted, then I'm just going to use uh, her paint to go over all the rest of the stuff. Now these kits would be great if you have little kids around or grandkids. Um, I have a niece and nephews that are coming this summer. I thought it might be fun to, to let my niece do one of these because um, it's really easy. It comes with the, the glue and the paint and it, it's everything you need to put this little piece together. And um, I will have links to her uh, website in case you want to check it out and maybe support a fellow crafter. Um, I'm sure she would appreciate it, but I really had fun with this. This really didn't take me long at all. It took me about six minutes. I started my camera and I normally will turn it off in between things, but I thought, no, I'm going to let it run the whole time. And it literally took me about six minutes to do this whole thing. And so that's not bad at all um, for a quick little DIY. And this would be perfect like on a tear tray. It's a little garland. So just having it go across the front of your tear tray would be perfect. Um, but what I loved about that sign too is you could see where the welcome spring cutout is. And so it gave you a spot to put your um, words. Now I would have used the glue she sent me, but for video purposes, because I needed to get this video out, um, so I needed to get it edited and all that stuff. So I just used my hot glue to glue it all together um, just for the quickness of it. But I'm just putting it all together and she has a picture on the front of her kit that shows, you know, the finished products. So you can follow it along if you want. Um, but again, I thought it was a lot of fun. And um, even for maybe someone who's older who might have arthritis or something who can't do a lot, this might be a fun way to just do some crafting and it'd be really easy um, for them. So I just, I took some paint, I put it, or paint, I took some tape, put it on the end of the twine that was provided and I'm just stringing it through all of them the projects um I had got some paint on the end of my tape there and had it all over my hand after I put it through the first thing but <laughs> um oh and as you can see I did paint the beads that came through it uh, came with it as well with my with the white that she sent me um and then I'm just going to string everything through and tie some knots on the end and that's all there was and it's super easy like I said so make sure you check out Keely's website and um, yeah maybe help support her by ordering a couple of these things um, we all like to support each other right <laughs> so I'm just trying to get these all even where I want them and then I'm just going to tie knots on the end of both of those um, twine pieces and that's all there was that's all there is. <laughs> and there it is. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Keely, for sending me those. I really enjoyed working with that and it was a lot of fun. Okay, the final reveal is coming right up, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video because it took a lot out of me. But I will be back again on Friday for the decoupage party. That should be a lot of fun. So make sure you uh, have those notification bells set. And if you are new here, don't forget to head that, hit that red subscribe button before you go. And make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment as usual. I truly appreciate it. So with all that being said, you guys, I really hope you have a blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.